What's going on guys? I am Crimson Seabed and today we are here with another UU match. Um, I am bringing the same team as last time. I have the Weakness Policy Vaporeon, the Hydreigon, you know all the items, you should have watched the other video. I've got the Vaporeon, the Hydreigon, the Beedrill, the Arcanine, the Cloister, and the Weezing. Um, my follower on Twitter that is battling me today is Kama Mustafa. Mus Mu Kama. Kama is battling us today. Kama is bringing the Polyrath, the uh, Uxie, I believe that is. That's Uxie. The Hydreigon, the Muck, the Armaldo, and this is UU, so I want to say that's the Contrary Superior that he's bringing. Uh, we'll find out later in the video, so let's get started. Uh, if you ever want a chance to battle me, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Crimson Seabed. Uh, that's where we deal with all that good stuff. Kama is leading off with Big Daddy, like I predicted, so I led off with my Vaporeon. Uh, I was thinking he was just trying to get the rocks up. I was hoping he was just trying to get the rocks up. So I'm just going to go straight off with a Scald, try and get just take this threat out so that way no rocks go up on my side of the field. That's good. He then decides to go for... Oh, no, there's the Citrus. Pops the Citrus right there. Pop the Citrus, turn one. That's what I like to see. Uh, he goes for the knockoff. And that is not going to do too much. Takes off my weakness policy. He's going to withdraw Big Daddy. And he's going to end up going here into the Superior. And I just straight up go for another Scald again. Just to see what kind of... Hopefully fish for the burn. Uh, do not get the burn this turn. So he goes for a knockoff. I don't know if he was expecting a switch or something. But he already knocked me off once. So that's going to do even less. We see that it is life orb. I'm going to go for the Toxic here. Uh, if it is a contrary superior, those things like to set up with Leaf Storm, so I am going to get the Toxic off, hopefully smart some of that special attack away from him. Uh, we see he is going for the Giga Drain here, so he is a special superior. Uh, it is a very good thing that I got that Toxic off, because otherwise I would not have lived that. Uh, my Vaporeon is just going to set up the Wish, I believe? Yes. Set up the Wish, uh, so I can get some of that HP back, and we'll go from there. Yep, go for, I'm here, I'm going to go for the Protect, get some of that nice old HP back, so hopefully I can live another Giga Drain if that's what he decides to do, which we see that is what he wants to do. My Wish is going to come through, he is going to get more Poison damage off on him, which is a very, very good thing. For us, at least. For him, not so much. Uh, he's going to go for the Leaf Storm, here it is, it connects, and if my predictions were right, which should they are, contrary superior, he gets plus two special attack off on that Leaf Storm, so... Uh, if you guys got that Contrary Superior, you know, good for you. That thing's just straight power. Leaf Storm sets it up all the way. Um, if you guys have a good build for it, let me know in the comments section below. I can use that in one of my next videos. So here I'm going to go into my Choice Scarfed Hydreigon because at this range anything can kill it. So I'm just going to get a U-turn off on it. Why not? It's super effective on it. It's going to go back to me. We can just start with a fresh set of pokes of, uh, right here. So here I am, I'm going in for my Cloister. As you guys know, this is just the typical Cloister set. Uh, I do get the Focus Sash on there. He goes out into his High Dragon. Probably not the best part on his hand. I go to set up for a Shell Smash, and I'm at plus two, plus two, plus two. Um, and that's going to end up coming in big right here for taking out this High Dragon. He's going to go straight up for a T-Wave to try and hopefully whatever I've got coming in, just take care of it, get it out of here. So, I may be unable to move, so let's see. Hydreigon goes for a Dark Pulse. Now he can get the Flinch Hacks, he can get the Para Hacks. I hold on by the skin of my teeth with that Focus Dash. No Flinch, no Para, Icicle Spear, that's a dead Hydreigon. Right there. Three times or four times? Four times, because he got one with three. So, there's a Skill Link Icicle Spear right there, super effective. Goodbye, Hydreigon. Uh, next thing he's going to send in is the Oopsie. Now, here, I think, is a really good play on my part. He goes to go set up the Rain Dance. I'm at 1 HP. I don't think I'm going to live this turn. So what do I do? I go for the Explosion. A plus 2 Explosion. Nothing is going to live that from an Adamant Cloister. Goodbye, Uxie. Goodbye. So Cloister's putting in the Finest right there. Taking out the Hydreigon. Taking out the Uxie. Just bomb. Uh, he's setting up the ring for that Polyrath to come in, obviously. I'm going to go back out into my Hydreigon. Um, he's going to end up going out into Buff Jesus, the Polyrath. So I am a Choice Scarfed Hydreigon, like I said, so I can speed. Hopefully this Draco Meteor just one-hits it. 
Um, it does connect. I have I've got really weird luck with that. I don't know what it is. Hex gods are always in my favor as far as missing moves and not missing moves. So I am now minus one. Pop the citrus on the polyrath in the rain. Let's see what this thing wants to do to me. It is going to go straight up for a brick break. Pretty sure I can live that. I do. I live on 27. I'm going to go for another Draco. Just see, get damage off on this thing because I'm not going to switch anything in on this polyrath. So it is going to bring it down to just barely maybe 10% health. He goes for the waterfall. Finish me off. That stab that's in the rain, that's gonna, nothing's gonna want to take that. So, good thing I stayed in on that Hydreigon. Next thing I'm gonna send out is my Arcanine. Uh, people are like, oh, why are you bringing out the Arcanine in the rain against the Polyrath? I'll tell you why I'm bringing out the Arcanine in the rain against the Polyrath. A little thing called Choice Bandit Extreme Speed. So, goodbye, Polyrath. Hashtag mascot love right there with Arcanine. There is that extreme speed. He is going back out into Big Daddy. So I'm going to switch out. I don't want to take any rock moves in the rain. I do have carry close combat, but I am going to go into my physically defensive wheezing, carrying the Rocky Helmet to see what this thing wants to do to me. Goes for a Stone Edge. Arcanine would not have wanted to take that. Wheezing takes it like a champ. Does about 50%. No, no, does about a little, le little less than 50%. I go for the Willow. Connect the Willow. He goes for another Stone Edge. He misses... Get the burn from the Willow. That thing's at half percent. So now in the rain, I'm gonna go for this T bolt. That's gonna hurt because it's not gonna. It's gonna resist. Uh, you know, thunder. It's gonna resist everything else. So he goes for a knockoff. Rocky helmet damage, and then the burn is gonna take this. Uh, take out this big daddy Armaldo right here. So always a good thing to run a Rocky helmet on a Weezing, in my opinion. So now he's going out into muck. Until recently, I haven't seen too many people run Muck, but I found that I recently, recently found that I enjoy this. So I'm gonna go. I can't get a Toxic off on this thing, obviously. So I am gonna go for the burn, get some residual damage. I connect again. He's gonna go for the Ice Punch. Um, I don't know if he was predicting something or if that's the only thing he has that can touch me, but we are gonna find ourselves in a little bit of a stall right here. I know that much. We go. Weezing goes off with the Flamethrower. I'm gonna hit it because nothing else. He doesn't want to take it. Ice Punch again. Um, I the, Maybe it's choice. Uh, get that crit. Ooh. Get that crit. Get some more burn damage off on it. I'm going to just keep going for the flamethrower because I've got... I don't want to switch anything in on this thing. I've got no more use for my wheezing after this. He goes for that gunk shot. That's going to be a n not that stab, but I resist poison. I mean, I don't know what's going on there. Get more burn damage off. I'm going to go for a T-Bolt here. Kind of switch it up a little bit. Show a different animation because, like I said, it is a little bit of a draw right here. He's going to go back to into the Ice Punch, so I don't know if he was trying to, like, bluff the, cho the Choice Band or not, but it is just going to keep going on and off. I'm going to go. He goes for the Shadow Sneak. I did not know Mux could run Shadow Sneak. That just blew my mind, but I still live there because I'm a defensive tank. There's the Flamethrower. Burn damage come through and take out this Muck for me. Thank you very much. And that is game with my good friend Kama. Remember, if you ever want a chance to battle me, make sure you follow me on Twitter. That link is in the description below. And if you haven't yet, make sure you poke that like button for me. I'm shooting for 10 likes on this Wi-Fi video. If you guys are liking these Wi-Fi battles, I'm going to do my best to keep at least one coming your day, coming your way. Um, so, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Make sure you uh, show some support. If not, I'll talk to you guys later.